we adopted the Euro Plus Pact. It will provide a new quality of economic coordination, and we call it the Euro Plus Pact for two reasons. First, because it is about what Eurozone countries want to do more. They share one currency and wish to undertake efforts on top of the existing EU commitments and arrangements. Secondly, because it is also open to the others. And that's why I'm glad that the, today the six colleagues from non-Euro countries announced that they will join the Euro Plus Pact. At the same time, uh, it is clear that there is in Portugal a broad consensus, probably not with specific measures, but with the targets, so that the most important parties have committed formally to respect the um, fiscal targets, not only for this year, those measures have been already adopted, but for the two next years. And the Prime Minister gave reassurances to all the colleagues of the European Council about this. And he was very clearly saying that whatever is the next government, this will be achieved. And so we expressed confidence in the capacity of Portugal to overcome the current situation. Today we decide that we are ready to adopt further sanctions, including measures to ensure that oil and gas revenues do not reach the Gaddafi regime. Member States will ask the United Nations to do the same. The European Union has provided two-thirds of the funding raised so far under the United Nations appeal. And we have also organized numerous transport operations. Now we need to continue to deliver aid at the borders with Tunisia and Egypt. And of course, we also need to secure aid relief inside Libya itself.